Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am excited to show you what I have inside my tools backpack and all the tools I carry with me as an AV technician. If you are interested in audio video technology and you're considering a profession in the audio field, this video will give you a great idea what to expect. So let's dive in. <laughs> So we're going to start with all the tools that I have around the backpack and then we're gonna go inside. So what I have in here is a toner and a sniffer. So with this device I can tone my wires and and uh, find my wires, tone them and all that. So this is the first thing right here, we're gonna put them on the side. And then I have a box cutter in here. So on the side. I have a small tape measure in case I need something quick. It's Milwaukee also. And then I have a bunch of tape right here. Oops, gaffer tape, blue tapes, some Tessa tape, and 3M white tape. As an AV technician, you always wanna use white tape because if you use a black tape, there is going, they're going to leave the residue on the wire and make it like a mess. So. Be careful, always use white 3M tape. Don't use anything other than 3M, please. 3M is the best. I have a gloves on the side. In case I wanna drill and use the heavier impact drill, it's a good thing to use. Uh, safety first, always. And then nothing right here, nothing right here. On this side, I have my double tape measure. You could use your any tape measure you want. An empty backpack. Here I have some zip ties. Nothing important. And more zip ties, nothing in there. I'm gonna take those out. And let's start with the first bag. Here I have another pair of gloves for installing sandbar and the things that that glassy like a Sonos subwoofer is a perfect example of it. Here I have a pedal bed set, all the different sizes. What else? Uh, a Denon remote always comes handy. A URC remote in case I have to program some devices that I don't have an original remote. Some coupler in case. Uh, a glue for hot gun. I use this for sticking my IRs on equipment. A sticky knot. A box cutter pins and yeah all pins and nothing else so we're gonna close this guy back up and up here I have my client tools which is a network tester and by the way I'm going to leave the affiliate link for all these products in the description if you want to buy any of them, uh, you could guys just buy it from there. This one is great because I can see if it's PoE, what pin is missing and it's recommended for sure. Here, nothing else in there other than a small tools for restarting the equipment. Comes handy, keep that in place. I'm gonna close this one. And let's get inside a bag. Here's the, how the inside is. So here we have a pouch, which is, has many, many small things. And we're going to go over it. Here on the main area, flush cutter, important. A set of concrete bits. Low quality, Home Depot branded level. I need a better one. Channel locker, really handy. 
a set of a smaller screwdriver along with the pick tool really important a wrench for coaxes size of 7 16 p2 flips and p2 flat a screwdriver for high voltage in case we are changing outlet or something from client tools an extension for impact driver or drills drywall saw a large allen key some of the Sonnen's uh, TV bracket use this for adjusting the level a small hammer for pushing the anchors in the wall and a small uh, trim bezel remover for removing the speaker grills or anything that comes handy a set of a small screwdrivers all different kind This is a great kit for TV installation. Comes with the drills and all that. And here I have a Milwaukee drill. A small one. This is the impact one. A fast charger. You could charge two battery at the same time. Really important. And up here I have a stud finder. This is a great, great stud finder. And I'll show you how this stud finder also work. Oh, blades for my uh, box cutters. Can go here. Empty, empty, empty. Now we're going to move to this section. And on this side, Punch down tools, punching down the keystones. These are great for cutting the shield around the Cat 5. I use that a lot. One of them are one of them is sharper than the other one. Here's the stripper for coax. Client uh, punch down tool, crimper for RG45 and RG11 network and phone. A coax crimper, this is great also. Client scissor. One more. A stop finder in case my other stop finder stop working. Manual stop finder for grabbing the nails on the walls in case we have a plasters and some old stuff. Measurement tool. Two sets, two different sets of Allen keys, torque and other set. And up here we have our multimeter. This is for finding the live wires. From client to the multimeters. Testing the plugs. Which is near the battery. Oh, I don't think you need the battery, we just have to plug it in. And pretty much that's it for here. And let's see what inside the pouch. Black electric tape, a stubby. You need a stubby, some velcro. More white tape. 90 degree. 
foil adapter, pencil sharpener, pencil sharpener. These two are must for driving legs for the TV mount on the walls. 9 16 and a half inch with the extension. Unibet. Unibet. More Unibet. More Unibet. And a bunch of small Allen keys. So as you can see, we fitted all this equipment inside this backpack. Good looking backpack. But to be honest, I wouldn't recommend this backpack to you because this is a previous version of this backpack and a newer one, they have a different base so you could uh, lock it to your pack out system. And then I got this on a Black Friday deal. It was a great deal for 50 bucks from Home Depot. It's worth the money, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. If you want to get a backpack, just get a newer one so you can lock it to your uh, pack out system. And I'm gonna now put all this back inside the backpack. I hope this video helps you. And then if you have any question regarding to the AV word, please comment them down below. I'll try to get to your comment. And take care. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.